I'm Don Mitchell. Um, I think of myself primarily as a writer. I also own and operate a farm in New Haven, Vermont, so eight miles north of here. And I taught on the faculty of the college from 1984 until 2009, um, initially in creative writing, and then also film studies and environmental studies. And when I retired from the college, I, um, in, a, in an effort to reduce my taxes on the firm, um, wound up in a, in a contract with a government program called WIP, Wildlife Habitat Incentive Program, to enhance the habitat for bats on our farm. And I, was, I could do that because of the circumstance that wildlife biologists had happened to trap Indiana bats on the farm in the summer of 2006. Um, the wildlife biologist thought he might find bats there, asked permission to trap. I said, sure, go ahead. And he trapped this endangered bat, um, which was rather a, um, a surprise and a find. And because we had an endangered species, I could enter a, a forest management plan that foregrounded trying to enhance the habitat for this particular bat. Um, so I spent most of the last four years working in the woods um, to make a particular tree called the shagbark hickory tree, a tree that bats often choose to make their roosts in during the daytime, um, to make it more attractive for bats by taking out other trees in the foreground and yet preserving some forest canopy connection from the hickory trees to surrounding trees. A very um, searched kind of forestry. Um, and I was guided in this by a wildlife biologist who understands bat behavior. And when I realized how fascinating this work was turning out to be, I began writing a book about it. And the book is called Flying Blind. It's a record of my process of thinking while I was spending day after day for hours on end um, working in the woods and thinking about the interface between humans and nature and how we can in some ways um, refashion the ecosystem to see particular goals that we have at a particular time. But how we often do this without any long-range vision and so we're kind of flying blind as we do so. Flying blind, one man's adventures battling buckthorn making peace with authority and creating a home for endangered bats.